Hello, this is Jenny from Midlothian Libraries and today I'm going to show you how to make a pipe cleaner dragon. So he's going to start with some pipe cleaners. Um, I have got three of one colour and two of another. I'm using the, the one that I only have two of to start off and this you're going to fold in half, cut in half first and then fold in half and this is going to be the form the base of the dragon's head if you take the contrasting colour and cut that in half I'm going to wind this one around the other to form the dragon's face so leave a little bit of the first colour exposed to show um, a nose and then wind it back a bit and then when you get towards the end of that piece if you kind of double it over to make it a bit fatter there you've got a snout and then you've got the forehead and then the first colour forms the ears so you bend them the way that you want them if they're if you think they're slightly too long then trim them which is what I did and that basically is your dragon's head then you take the next full pipe cleaner and if you add a little bit of glue onto the end of it, which I didn't do here, but you should have, and poke it into the back of your dragon's head. Then take a pencil and hold it parallel with your pipe cleaner. And you're going to use that to wind around to give it the body a bit more of um, a rounded shape. Um, it's a little bit fiddly, but it's not too difficult. And you just keep winding until you get to the end of this pipe cleaner. Again, it just makes the body just a little bit fatter. There we are. Then you're going to cut another of your um, yellow ones or in half or use the the half that left over from before and use this one to make the front legs and you kind of pop it in between the coils on the back give it a little twist and then shape it in to a, le a pair of legs so you've got a bit of shape to them and then trim if you need to bend it for the to make feet the dragon's front legs and you do a similar job with the back legs you're going to cut another pipe cleaner in half to make the back legs and just work the same way that you did with the front legs and pop them between the coils give them a twist and then bend them into shape Again, you can trim them if they're a bit too long. I'm going to use the the last half of the yellow in this case um, to make the tail. to just add a little bit of glue onto the end of it and poke it in at the end of the body this just means it won't fall out once you've finished making your dragon 
that's it, and then you can bend it into whatever shape you like. And I take a little bit of red pipe cleaner and wound it round the end of the tail to give it a, a bit of extra colour at the end. your dragon's body. Now we're going to make wings. Now you can use either foam, a sh you know, sheet of foam to do this or you can use a card. And you take a, the contrasting colour of pipe cleaner, you bend it and you place it down onto the card or, or foam. another little short piece of red or contrasting colour and these bits are going to just form the spines of the wing and then you glue all that to the card or foam whichever you're using Then you have to go off and let your glue dry for a while. When the glue is dry, you trim out the wings and you give it a little bit of curve in between your pipe cleaners. going to add two little dots of glue to stick on some little gooey eyes. some glue to the tip of the wing not the outside point but the inside point you just add a bit of glue and you poke the wing in between the coils again get that in the position that you like and it's sensible to let one dry before you add the other one. It just makes it easier. And then you have to sort of place it in a position where the wings will be both even and so on. Just place it, place it down on the thing to dry, um, and then that will be. 
your dragon finished and you'll be able to play with him.